You know, every time I do a concert, at the end of the concert, I always want to take an opportunity for you to get whatever it is that you came for. You know, I think back to growing up in that fundamentalist environment, and every time they had the end of a church service or they had the end of a concert or the end of any kind of service they had, they always had a big, scary term. Altar call. I don't know if you can feel the draft of the wind when I say that, or if it's the flames from hell. I don't know which, but that's not what I'm talking about tonight. Now, altar call for me consisted of some big gluttonous male pastor that was going to come up here and make you confess everything that you did from the time you were a little kid on up, say some magic words, and poof, all your problems were solved, and instead of going to hell, you were just going to go to KFC after church. Seriously, that's what it was. But that's not what I'm talking about. You know, the dominion of God dwells within you. You don't have to come up here and make some big, huge theological statement. It's between you and God. You know what? You can pray in your seat. You can pray with the person sitting next to you. And you know what? We, I think so many times in our lives, we've heard people talk about sin, that we don't know what real sin is. And real sin is just the things that separate us from God. The hatred, the bitterness, the addictions the things that don't have to leave the room with us, you know? In my lifetime, I've had some hatred and bitterness in my own heart. I've had some days when I said, you know what? Things should be different. And I've had some days when I probably haven't been the best at being what I need to be. But you know what? That's, I've heard people, repentance is such a scary word, but I've heard, you know, Nancy Wilson say many times, it's like coming to a crossroads and saying, you know what? I was headed this way, and I think I'm going to go that way instead. And that's all in the world it is. But if there's anything tonight that you need, whether it's, you know, we were talking this morning, I heard Reverend Jeff say, you know, if there's anybody who's got, you know, a health problem, a financial problem, problem in your relationship, problem with your job, just any problem that you don't know what that problem is or how it's going to be solved, there is someone tonight who is listening and is always listening, even when you don't think that and who made you and created you exactly as you are. You know, I've often said that, you know, God has my permission to strike me straight any day he wants to do it. But I'm willing to think that God probably got it right, and, you know, I don't think next week I'm going to wake up and be left-handed or be have green eyes or, you know, have black hair. I, well, unless I dye it, which I've done before. I pretty much think God got it right the first time, and I'm, you know... Uh, bleach blonde, uh, blue-eyed, right-handed, gay boy, you know? And so I didn't have to come out to God, and neither do you. And whatever's going on in your life, as I sing this song, I would just encourage you to know that before, you know, I thought that I had missed plan A, that, you know, being in a gospel group and be with my family and everything else was plan A, and I had missed it. But you know what? This is plan A. And I encourage you that, you know, whatever it is in your life, God will help you get back on plan A. Here's a question some days that can silence my song. What if they knew everything I do wrong? All of the addiction or regret things I know I should do that I just haven't yet what if I don't believe all they think I should what if my motives are misunderstood I know that what I am singing is true but would they listen if they only knew that this broken heart is still wandering too? Then gentle, persistent, the message comes through. See the question that matters. What if they knew you? Each sinner's tear 
whose gentle eyes I always find really leaves no child behind, whose mercy's new with every dawn. This is why I sing my song. What if they knew? What if they knew you? And I was just a little child when I first heard you call. I still cannot believe the many ways I fall. The doubts that can fill me, the ways I feel small. The times I could just walk away from it all. How can it be that you would use me this way? Knowing all the countless times that I have gone astray. And maybe it lets them hear how I need you. If only through my brokenness can your light shine through. If it's in my weakness, they can see you're strong. If my letting go helps someone else hang on, then this fragile heart offers you one more song you who calms every fear you who dries each sinner's tear whose gentle eyes i always find really leaves no child behind whose mercy's new with every dawn this is why I sing my song. What if they knew? If what if they knew? Don't let this awkward heart turn one seeker away. And please don't let them stumble on my feet of clay. In all that I do, just let them see. child behind whose mercy's new with every dawn this is why i sing my song what if they knew if they only you that you're with us. I thank you that whatever we go through in life, that you remind us where we've been and how we have overcame those things thanks to you and your grace and your love as we can do it by ourselves. Just be with us. Be with us throughout the rest of the week and let us know even when the world tells us you don't that you love us just as we are. In Jesus' name.